Holding it down. I want to make this the shortest conversation on the planet. So, um, let's go here. Let's go here. And let's just listen to this real quick. Because I want to give you context. This is, this is what context is all about. This is Little Wayne. On Fox Sports, when he said he personally doesn't see racism because so many of his fans are white. I thought that was clearly a message that there was no such thing as racist. There was a lot of backlash from people about that. Would you change it, what you said, or no, you still be the all. same way? What's your thought on, on Black Lives Matter? What is it? What, what do you mean? The idea is that there's this movement called Black Lives Matter, thinking that the rest of America didn't seem to understand that, that Black Lives Matter. It just sounds weird. I don't know that you put a name on. It's not a name. It's not whatever, whatever. If somebody got shot by police and for a up reason. I am a young, black, rich If that don't let you know that America understand black matter these days, I don't know what it is. Don't come at me with that dumb man. My life matter, especially to my Do you separate yourself from it? I don't feel connected to a damn thing that ain't got nothing to do with me. If you do, you crazy you connected to this Flag, right? As I'm connected, I'm a gang banger, man. I'm connected. It's tiring, if it's anything. It's literally just exhausting. Um, this, like, <coughs> this, this person. How, This is why <laughs> it's so it's so vexing. I don't even know where to start. And I actually have stuff written down to say. But in retrospect, it doesn't really mean anything. Because this shouldn't mean... This is exactly what it should mean. It shouldn't mean anything. The, the patterns... All you 2.0 woke black talk about pattern recognition. You know, Kanye was brought on to facilitate the whole situation of like, oh, you know what? I <laughs> Kanye was Kanye was the first. <laughs> but Kanye was so tilted and so off his rocker that he went in, didn't even realize he was being used and 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 said to himself, Oh, I no, I wanna drive the boat. Kanye said, I want to be president. Like, my sister sent me a text message um, of the, her ballot, and it literally has Kanye West's name in the presidential slot in California. That That's a real-life thing, man. And what you can't do, what you can't do is get distracted by it. The 2.0 woke black people, they get distracted by it. Because it's all about being contrary just for the sake of being contrary. Even if the points you're making are un unjustified or unvalid or unfounded, that's the worst part about it. When something is unfounded and you just say it because you want to seem edgy, like you want to seem cool. It's the same people who share gory shit on the internet because they were forced to see it, so they want you to suffer too. That's, that's the bullshit you're dealing with when you have to talk about this, but let's talk about it, shall we? You feel me? Um, I'm, I'm caking on the phone right now. I'm sorry, guys. Uh, so first it was Kanye. That shit didn't work because he ended up getting his ass on the ballot. Then it was Ice Cube. And you know, out of all of, all of these clowns, I'm going to blame Ice Cube the most because Ice Cube is so Disney, but he's facilitating fascism. 
point blank period. He's facilitating this white dominancy period. His plan isn't the problem. His approach is. Let's, let me say that again for all you idiots in the back. His plan was not the problem. It had issues, but his plan was not the problem. The issue was when he decided to overstep the AOCs of the world, the Elon Omars of the world, the cat out of Mississippi, the dude out of South Carolina, the dude out of Texas, uh, the Congressional Black Caucus, the Congressional Progressive Black Caucus. That was his issue. He thought he thought because he rapped about change that he knew how to enact it. 50 uh, um, Ice Cube is it was quick to talk about the black plan, but didn't talk about how he took money from Steve Bannon's homeboy, who is an admitted fascist racist homeboy to pay for the big three. He didn't disclose that. He didn't want to bring that up. He didn't want to bring up the fact that, you know, he publicly denounced Trump and now going back to him as if to apologize. He didn't want to talk about that. And when the financial disclosures have to come out for this election, don't let me, Ice Cube, don't let me find your name on that list. Because you want to know whose name is on that list? Two quarters. 50 Cent. And we've already talked about this at nauseum, but I just have to give a recap in order to get back to this rodent. Two quarters already admitted he got paid $500,000. And we know that this is true because the Trump campaign a week ago stopped putting money into Florida, which is odd. A battleground state you're not campaigning all the way through. It's either a sign of confidence, incompetence, or deficiency. And it might be all three wrapped up neatly in the turd rolling down the street uh shout out to venom but two quarters makes more money in royalty payments than he does from a one-time check so he backpedaled he's already backpedaled on his statement which is strange but it isn't because 50 cents a troll and he's is expected but now this dude wayne Wayne is literally, there was literally a hurricane, uh, tropical weather, bad weather in Louisiana. He, he, this is the guy, this is your king. The dude that's so strung out on what any drug, he has no self control to clean himself up. That's your king. He put on, you know, if he really wanted to impose, why didn't he wear his baggy pants and his, you know, his red flag and gang gang bang all up and down the White House? You know, let them see who you really are. Why don't you bring your lean, your weed, your Percocets, all that shit? Uh, Because they needed the cleaned up version. So, like, that's all I'm going to waste here. I literally wasted your time. I'm so sorry, guys. Um, Thanks.